Greetings, groovy people. Welcome to the channel. This is the self-proclaimed blue dragon with an early summer speed paint. <laughs> Last week we had a discussion while sketching and inking this image of Karen Blue from my free not safe for work webcomic Dark Horse. This week I am doing a speed paint of the same image. This specific image is my contribution for the Comic Fury zine summer fun splash page. More on the zine once it's released but I'm trying to build a little bit of hype by keep dropping its name name dropping. <laughs> this week I'm going to talk about Karen, how she used to look and why I decided to change it, what her role is going to be in Dark Horse, of course I'm going to try to not give spoilers, and also I'm going to talk a little bit about web shorts and spinoffs and stuff like that, but first if anyone is interested in learning more about Karen, please check out the iCard in the upper right hand corner. There's an entire video talking about Karen's background, where she's from, just kind of rounding her out. Okay, so I need to give a little background on Dark Horse as it was posted long, long ago and Karen's first introduction. My Comic Fury readers probably aren't familiar with this character at all because at most she may have been name dropped by the siblings. I don't even remember if I did that in the original. It's been so long since I've looked at those pages. I'm trying to fix those up. But initially when she's introduced into the comic officially has not yet happened even on Comic Fury. She's already been written years ago, but there's a major event that has not taken place yet, which will be taking place fairly soon, maybe in a couple acts. But I'd first started uploading Dark Horse probably in 2010 or 11 onto my WordPress blog, Cerulean Dreams Graphics. It was a place for me to like babble about manga, solicit commissions, attempt to have a portfolio, but that's gone to shit. I still don't have a portfolio up there. Most importantly, my partner back before we were dating helped me create this blog so that I would have a place to post Dark Horse. He's the one who convinced me to start posting this for free back in 2010. I used to have both the old pages and another comic that I was working on posted on my blog, but I've since taken those down, particularly since I have places where Dark Horse can be read <laughs> in a a better format. But I got a handful of people reading it, you know, mostly people I played games with in Luminaria, I think was the name of the game. It's been so long. It was so fun. Gosh, the people I met were fun too. I miss them. They probably don't miss me. <laughs> Anyway, as kind of a fun thing for ideas that were not plot related, I started a separate page for what I called web shorts. First one is this image here where we see Rowena for the first time. God, her hair is awful. That is not at all what her hair should look like, especially since she's albino. I didn't know what I was doing, you guys. But Karen's first actual introduction online was in one of these web shorts, which I'll post here, titled Uniforms. It reads right to left, by the way. They, I think they both do. This specific one was from 2014, about a year before I got sick of how unprofessionally I was posting my comic. I didn't join Comic Fury until 2015, but this was before I, I had abandoned posting my comic on that site. One thing you'll notice is that from the web short, Karen's looks have changed drastically. When I first drew her, I hadn't properly thought about what life for people in a dystopic future would be like. <laughs> you know, so I like, I kind of literally looked off of a photo of a friend and I copied the way she looked, which she looks like she's gonna party because she's getting ready to go to a party. Oh my god, I miss those days. Oh, oh my god. But anyway, not necessarily the look you want to have, you know, when you don't have access to makeup or product. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff still lying around in the future, but nobody's got time to be dressing themselves up to party. So that was something I wasn't thinking of at the time that I did Karen's character design. So while I'm still not the best writer over the years, I have made it a point to try to study up on people from diverse backgrounds so I can create a better, more well-rounded character and not just base it solely on what I like or what my experiences were. Of course, I do kind of like the way <laughs> afros look, but that's because I'm a hippie child. But a big part of this was realizing that if I was going to justify people having long hair in the future, because 
because they have better priorities than cutting and styling their hair beyond braiding or tying it back or doing, you know, like low maintenance things. If that was my excuse for all the men having really long hair, then why the hell is Karen spending so much time styling <laughs> using product and making her hair conform to what was popular in the 1990s. It made no sense whatsoever. From a writing standpoint, there was a disconnect and I'm trying to be more mindful of that now, which is why Yuli's hair is slowly growing in the revamp. He starts with shorter hair. He probably had shorter hair before the war, but I mean, it doesn't take a lot of time to cut your hair, but people got better things to worry about. It's just easier to throw your fucking hair up, you know? <laughs> As you've seen from like YouTubers, everyone's hair is growing out. No, <laughs> nobody's got time for it. <laughs> but uh, but it's also part of why I changed Karen's hairstyle to be more natural. To be clear, I will get to a point in the story where the people of the of the future we're going to see them styling their hair and taking time to express themselves as they're able to kind of rebuild and start being able to, to spend time on those things but for the flashback it makes more sense that they're still searching for scattered faction members the government's still in shambles at the moment she should be rocking that gorgeous natural hairstyle <laughs> instead of what i drawn not to say anything bad about i mean the drawing is bad but the hairstyle was fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just my disconnect from the story. <laughs> anyway, 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 that's the reason why her looks change so drastically. I'm trying to not be quite so ignorant and grow and improve both my storytelling as well as the character design and other aspects of the comic. <laughs> so Dark Horse is only the first part of an ideally four to five part series. I've talked about that in other videos. In the next series, I've been taking notes on things that I want to address that won't be touched upon or explored in any great detail within the first series, Dark Horse. The Crystal Lotus Chronicles is the entire series. But one of the things that I want to address or at least kind of expand upon is Karen's role in the story. As of now in the revamp, I've been working on making her more of a prominent character, at least a little bit. Obviously not a main, main character, but she's definitely important to the story. This is all because I realized I need to introduce her because of who she's going to become or what she's going to be doing later in the series. Can't give spoilers. I'm sorry, I'm Word of Wednesday amorphous, but I don't want to give spoilers as of to what's down the road for her. Right now, she's a professor. She's one of Kana's closest friends and advisors. She's one of the few people that Kana can trust that's actually on her side. And in the future, her role is going to evolve and get big. And that's all I'll say for now. <laughs> It's been kind of a, a pipe dream of mine, and this is something that I thought of, God, years ago when I was living in Illinois still, in the Chicago area, but I, I always kind of thought it would be fun to have like a spinoff series with new characters, completely new characters, taking place in Chicago in the wake of the plague. You know, I know it's probably never going to happen, but it would be cool to have like a reimagining of Shakespeare's Othello, but maybe with a less depressing ending and have it set in Chicago. But I know that I'm not going to have time for that. And so it's a pipe dream to think that if, if the series ever gets popular enough, which who knows, maybe it will, maybe it will, but I'm not really gonna cover much of what's going on in the rest of the US, so it would be kind of cool to let other people who are from these areas ride a world bringing their own experiences to the story and have it within the world of the Crystal Lotus Chronicles, but you know, let somebody else have fun with it. Mm -hmm. As long as it doesn't really interact with the main cast, uh, very much. I mean, it could, but it'll never happen anyway. But <laughs> I just thought I'd share a pipe dream that I've had. You know, I can dream. But for now, I'm focusing on Dark Horse and I want to bring back the web shorts or even, I, I guess sometimes they're called Yonkoma when there's four of them. But I want to kind of bring that back as kind of a fun thing to do with a series that's kind of heavy and depressing in parts. <laughs> What, what do you guys think? Question of the week. What would you like to see in a web short? 
I've got a handful of ideas, but I'm going to be creating some for the intermissions in between acts, as well as on top as I like to advertise others' web comics. Next week, I'm going to talk a bit about Rena since it's Pride Month and I haven't talked about Rena in a while. Maybe I'll talk about some of the other characters too if I have time. I haven't decided yet, but stay tuned because I'm delving back into characters for this month. If you like what I do, if you like my comics and you want to throw money my way, no obligation, of course, but if you do, it's certainly appreciated and you can do so at any of the links below. Lots of love and thanks to my current patrons, donators, subscribers. I really appreciate that. And readers, just readers in general. Just thank everyone. God damn it. Just put up the Atlantis Morissette video. Thank you. I'm sorry. You can also like, sub, and do the bell thing. That's groovy. Peace and love. Fare you well. And keep on trucking.